on the 18th of September 2014, between the hours of 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. For the first time ever, the Scottish people will have absolute sovereignty lying in their hands. The question then is, do they keep it or do they give it away to another nation to keep control over them? That's the key question. If at one minute past 10 p.m. we have a yes vote, we are powerful. If we have a no vote, at one minute past 10 p.m., we are powerless. That's what the referendum is really about. Power or powerlessness. My name is Piotr Petruka. I'm coming from Krakow. I'm working for Philip Morris International here in Krakow, for SAP division. Yes, I heard about this voting from my friends. Also, I had friends from Scotland. I was traveling there several times. So definitely, yes, you've got strong right to be independent from UK government. Uh, if I were Scottish, I would support you even going to Scotland to, to put my vote into the box. Uh, you see what's going on in, in, in our Europe, let me say, in, in Eastern Europe, it's, it's war for independence. So I'm supporting Ukrainian friend and I will support the Scottish friend as well. So if you need any support from Polish side, call me. I will go there even if I have to pay with, from my pocket. My name is Evan DeBarra and uh, originally I'm from Ireland um, but I was living uh, for over a decade in London before moving to Krakow a year ago. Uh, yeah, I've been following the, the debate, the campaigns, the yes and no campaigns um, very keenly because I was living so long in London um, and I have Scottish friends and I think they'd probably be surprised that I would be um, um, for the no campaign um, because I can understand why why there is a yes campaign why many people are in favor of independence but I think with um, my experience of Irish history I think um, I think uh, independence and nationalism is overrated and I think um, people have more in common cross borders than they have when they're divided by borders. Um, so better to have kind of unity um, of, of different social classes, um, types of people, um, than, than saying we're one nation or another. I'm Katarzyna Placu. I'm from Krakow and uh, I'm an ethnographer professionally ethnographer and cultural anthropologist and uh, but I'm now I'm working as a PR manager and it's gen general information about me yes I have a passion maybe because I'm an eth ethnographer and uh, I love uh, Scottish culture and folklore and uh, everything was it was connected with music and and you know, your language dialect and everything. I love um, Scottish people because they are very open-minded and uh, mentality. This, this is great. Yes. Uh, I think if I would if I could choose uh, and vote, uh, I would vote yes because uh, I think you have a strong. Um, strong passion for in the, being an independent and I always uh, support such kind of people so so I would definitely vote yes yes <laughs> my name is Angela Salib and I'm from Malta yes I know I've certainly read about the heated debate but I must admit I don't know much about it um, I don't think I know enough to have a solid opinion um, so I'm trying to get myself informed about that at this point, I would say no opinion. I'm straight in the middle. I am uh, Fred Heimels. Uh, I'm from the Netherlands. I'm living here for already for almost 10-15 uh, years in uh, in Krakow. Um, let's say from from the beginning, I'm I'm not interested in the in the in the in, the, in the, this this 
antagonism between uh, Scotland and uh, and England. It's it's none of my business. I'm not interested in. I don't know anything about it uh, for whatever reasons, political, economic, or cultural reasons. I don't know. It's not of my interest. That's one thing. The second thing is there is something behind it because we are talking about uh, we're talking about uh, Europe because. Scotland wants to be a member of the European Union. And then we are talking about a different kind of thing. Then we are talking about many other, uh, 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 let's say, uh, regions that want to be a specific member or uh, yeah, specific member of the, of the European Union, whether it be the Basques, whether it be the Catalonians, whether it be the Scottish, whether it be, whether it be Ireland or whatever. That's, that's, then we have a different discussion. Then we have a dis discussion about the shaping of the European Union, which is completely different. And in this, uh, in this uh, sense, I'm, I'm interested in what's, what's going on, because then we are talking about the culture, and uh, I think we, we don't have a one unique culture in Europe. We should uh, accept and we should uh, appreciate the different cultures, uh, the different cultures uh, in Europe connected to economic and connected to political uh, aspects. So in this sense, I'm interested in what's going on, but not in the sense that Scottish wants to be independent from uh, uh, England. None of my business. So you're looking at the bigger picture? The I'm looking at the bigger picture because um, uh, I would say there, there has been for many years a discussion how many levels in government, in governance, you can have at, at, at a certain level. Should it be Brussels, should it be nation states, should it be cities, should it be regions, etc. etc. And I think the, 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 the people in people don't understand too much levels. They can't cope with too much levels in governance. For this reason we have to be more autonomous in the in, 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 in the whole thing. And I think from what I know from uh, political science Maximus is three levels of governance. That's it. And otherwise people don't understand it anymore. And that's why I'm looking at how the European Union is going to shape its cultural differences in the, uni in, in the United uh, uh, Governance Structure. My name is Beata Maga. Um, I come from Poland originally, but I've lived in different countries over the years. Yes, I am, and I'm really excited about it, actually. <laughs> well, I have to admit that I'm a little bit of a romantic. <laughs> and um, I have quite a few Scottish friends. I uh, used to live in Great Britain, and I cooperated with Scottish people. And knowing the history and also the character and everything related, I do believe that Scotland would do much better if it was independent. Now that's what, that is my very strong opinion, actually. <laughs> well, I think it's an awesome idea that you guys are uh, voting on such important thing. Um, I admire your nation that you don't, uh, well, I'm a little bit of jealous too, that you don't have to uh, in a way like fight for your independence, you can just go and in a peaceful way vote. So, so you know, I think that's great. My name is Jacek and I'm from Poland, from Kraków. Yeah. If, if anybody, even one person would like to go independent, <laughs> he should be let to go yeah? and the countries and big organizations just forcing uh, to stick together in a group uh, like minorities even yeah <clears throat> it's it's just like nothing good yeah? we live in groups we live in countries there is no way to live alone yeah and to be just one entity so if smaller group would like to split from a bigger group, I'm just 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 for it. Yeah. I'm Eric. I'm from Finland. Okay. I really agree, strongly agree that Scotland should have an independence in three weeks, four years. I have followed Economist Magazine, and they say strongly that it should have. And like, if you think about it, if a country or station, a state or any 
part of the country would have an independence, they should have it, right? Small popular, uh, population against a hard, strong population should have the independence. It doesn't matter. Scotland, uh, the Spanish people who have their in Barcelona, their independence, or in Finland actually, in that matter, they should have it. It doesn't matter actually. Uh, my name is Kazimierz. I come from Krakow actually. In my view, I really don't know. Actually, I'm not sure about the, the people understand what the independence doesn't mean. It's something different, in my opinion, than freedom. And something really different than independence we've been, we've been fighting for. So the question is, I don't know. But I wish you'd go. Can you explain what you mean by independence is different than freedom? Uh, because uh, independence is something if you have to ask what what does it mean dependence so what are you dependent on and uh, are you dependent on and freedom to do something what whatever you want if the answer is yes so it, the, the the general answer is really i don't know we've been independent and not free to to pursue our own goals that that's different Okay, so uh, uh, I'm Irene and I come from Belarus and I stayed in Krakow for three years already. Uh, uh, and being honest, I don't think that I have enough uh, uh, political background or sufficient knowledge, you know, to be very objective, which is basically impossible uh, to give my honest opinion about that. So uh, what I think on the matter is that uh, uh, the matter is important for the nation itself, so if the people there feel that they should go for that, they should do that. And uh, I'm not the one who judge or say if it's right or if it's wrong, because there is no such a thing in the world in itself. Uh, why you should do that, it's not the uh, question that people outside the community or outside this rally should answer. Uh, this is the question that should be answered by the people who are actually part of the community. How you can do that uh, in terms of political independence, administrative independence, economical ones, uh, this is all the past of a very complex strategy and very complex behavior and this is like a subject for a like, very long discussion, yeah, but first is the intention, then is the action, but to be able to transfer intention to the real result, the perfect understanding why you want to do that, and this understanding should be on the level of every person who is actually the part of this project, if you can say it like that. The eyes of the world will be in Scotland on September, watching intently to see what we will do. When the polls close and the voting has been done, let us resolve this. Let us keep the eyes of the world on Scotland. Not to see how we are voting, but to watch in admiration at what we are building. Let us build a nation that carries itself with pride and humility in equal measure. That looks to its own, but gives to the world as much as it possibly can. Which yields to no one in compassion, but to no one in ambition. And that come Independence Day, that country to walk tall among the nations of the earth, on that day, on every day thereafter. This is our moment to be a beacon of hope, a land of achievement, our country, our Scotland, our independence.